was going to say, why is my tracking not eye track? We are... <laughs> I think we're a bit tilted, but it doesn't matter. We need to get going, we're already late. We're yeah, at, we are We're at Made Ahead Aquatics, but it's not... It's not your, not mine, mate ahead of quags. Where are we? At Wimborne. <laughs> We're in Wimborne. Yeah. Obviously, I'm going to put the address. As you all know, this is Matt. <laughs> anyway, this is the tank. Have a look at this. So today we are escaping this six foot tank. It is six foot, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Six foot, yeah. Just made that up. Yeah, no, I think it is six foot. Yeah. Um, we've got wicked lights up here. The same lights that we've got on our four foot discus one, which is... Four foot discus, and in the middle of the eight foot African as well. Yeah. Yeah. Which is what? What are the lights? Reef photons. So they're okay. normally for a saltwater aquarium, but you can take all the blues out of them and they give a really nice shimmer for the freshwater aquariums. They're and really we, good. We already know they grow plants really well, because yeah. just look at the eight foot. Oh yeah, they do so well. So, so well. Filtration. Um, I can see some yeah, so that's, overflow. Yeah, so we can run it on system if we want to. So we can run it off of this system behind. A bit like the, again, the African system at uh, Taunton. But what they've got is they've also got a Fluval FX filter that can run on here as well. Okay. So we can mess around with whether we want just the flow from the FX or whether we want the big flow of that. Either way, we can work it out. Right, so this is a little bit different to usual because this, this tank is actually really tall. Um, tall tanks are always harder to skate. Well, not necessarily harder, but you just need to do a few different things. First thing is creating height, obviously. Now, the worst thing you can do in a tank like this is a few little sticks at the bottom and ignore that upper area. So what we're going to do, we've got loads and loads of wood to choose from. We're going to create height, first of all, as you always do with wooden rocks. But then we're going to use that wood um, as like a structure to attach plants coming upwards. And that way, from the start, you've got height with your plants. And any background stems and things like that, that can all grow in later on. Uh, but it just gives you a much better start. It's way better for you to enjoy, but also remember this is a shop, so we need to wow people straight away. I mean, it's got time to grow in, but yeah. Did I say everything good then? I think you've done all right, yeah. Nailed it. Yeah. I'm getting good at this YouTube stuff. <laughs> so first thing, we need to go and select some wood. I'm already spotting some good pieces. We yeah. want spikes, don't we, Matt? Yeah, I think so. That'll give us some good height, and it's instant, isn't it? It's that boom, you know. It and also, the good thing about things like this is they, you could like link them together. Yeah. Quite easy. Like those, they already looked like they were together, didn't they? Yeah. Even it's part of the same them. tree that's sort of fallen into the river, and yeah, they're perfect for yeah. They make easy scaping, don't they? Oh, we've got some more here. Let's just walk around. Some little ones. There's some big ones over the back as well. There's loads to choose from. So Dave, the uh, manager of this place bought in a load of wood for us. I don't think he thought we were going to use it all, but we are. Yeah, of course. You know me, yeah, yeah. use everything. There won't be anything left on this shelf <laughs> by the end of the day. It'll just be all of ours. Just tell them to put the new order in now. Yeah, we better do, wouldn't we? Otherwise, there's going to be nothing to sell. Oh, they've got a great coral section here as well. Look at this lot. Yeah, it looks amazing. Absolutely it? brilliant. But we're not, we'll not. we cover that a bit later. We need to get scaping. Yeah, let's first do it. First and pick up some wood. Right, we've got a ton of wood and we're going for the structure wood just, wood just because it's like got such spiky parts that we're going to get really really good height in the scape then um, but before we put in the wood we need our rocks down and we've got those over here as well so we've got a good selection here good selection um, for normal sized tanks for normal people yeah <laughs> but six foot wise we've really only got the cereal to go through uh, to go for because of the size of it and there's a good amount there but also there's a load underneath there in the sump as well. So that's going to give us what we need, basically, isn't it, Matt? Yeah, that's it. We'll get your steel on the back, have all of that rock. I think that'll be perfect for it, really. Because, yeah, you need big hardscape, don't you? You need lots of it. I think we've got some big bits of wood, though, so I reckon it'll be more minimalist on the rock, I reckon, more heavy on the wood. Usually, I do, like, a substrate system yeah. first. Now, I want to just build up this... I want to build around the islands or whatever we're going to create yeah, in there. Yeah. Right, we started to do, let me just move this ladder. It's so deep that I have to use a ladder to be able to get in there. But we're thinking dual island and then a big gap in between the islands, something reaching over. Um, but we're at a point now, I want to put a load of substrate in the back. Now, many of you have commented before how, why have I stopped using the media bags? It's purely because I'm getting lazy. <laughs> fairly, yeah. 
standard for yeah. you, isn't it? Yeah. Let's... I want I want it easy, yeah. you know. And so we're going to use some of the uh, Tropica substrate stuff, which is basically dry soil. Is yeah. it? Is it? It's just dirt. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to lay that all in the back section, even in the middle, um, because I want plants to creep. We want everything to sort of merge into one. And then I'm going to cap it with sand and just really bring up these layers higher. I don't want to build any higher without any sand down because it might fall over and then that's the end of our project. Yeah, we'll, we'll go over then, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let's just get some soil in the background area and then we can build up around it and cap it with sand. So we've got our nutrients in, you can see we've spread the powder about and we've opened up some like caps as well, like some, what are they called? Nutri-caps. Nutri-caps. Um, and now we need to just cap all of this with sand. So we've got two big bags of sand down there. We'll also have some coarser gravel to put in as well and some scatter gravel. You know the drill by now. I actually want to go higher with the rocks, but I do want that sand in there first because I don't want to smash anything. <laughs> but all these nutrients will now be locked down. So all the nutrients are now capped and on top of the sand layer, which is the capping layer, we're going for some gravel at the back. That's going to allow me to build up the rock in front of it even more here. Then I'll just tuck it in behind it. Uh, still got to put some on this side. We need more rocks. We've got more rocks. We're all good. Right, we've added even more rocks. Matt's been my eyes whilst I'm in the tank because... It is the trickiest thing when you're up high, isn't it? Exactly. I can't see anything. No. I, I still want more height, don't get me wrong, but I think now's the time to put wood in and we can go around that even more because we'll need more rocks to be able to glue the, uh, the wood too as well. So now it's wood time. Got wood? BA Maracas. <laughs> um, look at that, eh? It is, it's, it's big, isn't it? It's, it's big, but Dave, the owner, like you said, look, you come in here, hang on. Get that out of the way. But look, this is where you come in. And when, it's still in the way. <laughs> so you come in and straight away, people who want to do aquascaping are going to be like, okay, it's a big tank, it's got big bits of wood. And that's the first sort of key when you're scaping a big tank, or any tank, to be honest, you need big pieces of hardscape. Um, it should be a good investment and you know you get that impact straight away like you could keep it like that and it'd look good wouldn't it absolutely you need three quarters of the tank like full essentially like you need to inhabit those areas don't you yeah because otherwise it just ends up unless you're going for a certain type of scape then it just doesn't look right no i mean like this would even work as just like a hardscape only cichlids like a south american i guess south yeah. american cichlids big boys some big angelfish maybe and some things like that that would look wicked we're not doing that though no. no, we're not going to talk about fish yet because they've got to wait for that. Yeah. It's going to be cool. Um, we just got to, we got to glue all of this down now. It will, it will float. Mm, it might be all right, but it's not worth the risk. We're going to glue it all down yeah. with BA Maracas. Know why I'm saying that it wasn't funny the first time. No, no, uh, no one laughed at it the first time. No one laughed at it the second time. And then we can get planting and that's the fun bit. For me anyway. Right, everything is now stuck down. We have an extravaganza. It's time to start planting. I'm looking forward to this. There's so many places to plant into, epiphyte wise anyway. Sorry, I got distracted by the fish. <laughs> I was back. So we just went around collecting up all the java ferns and then Matt's whipped out <laughs> these that he's brought from his shop. Like, you know, spreading the love and that. Absolutely, Look. just in case. Just in, just in who? <laughs> you knew it's good. Yeah, so we've got two big old bags of that. We've got, is that swords as well? Um, Anubias is. So Anubias is, 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 is. We've got Hastafolia, so the bigger leafy one. Heterophylla, which is the bigger leafier one. Okay. Um, so yeah, we've got some small ones here, but I just, we're in between plant deliveries. That's the annoying thing. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's the day that's in between plant deliveries. So yeah, I think it'll be good. And somebody is supposed to be here, aren't they, for our plants? A, uh, someone we met over in Holland, the plant man himself, Moritz. Absolutely, I don't know, uh, yeah, he's running, I ain't got my watch on. 
Um, but yeah, he is running behind, I reckon. Yeah, he, he's due in in three hours, so uh, yeah, you better hurry up. We finished lunch. That's it. Look who's here. Late, though. We've already explained to the audience that we were waiting on a plant delivery from some crazy Dutch man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And look, he comes bearing gifts. Let's have a look. Let's get them open. Right, Matthew's going to do the honours. I mean, we've obviously, we've got our Java ferns already. Well, we've got loads of... We could always go more. Of course. Oh, Helianthia. Nice, Hello. nice. Labelia. Yeah. Oh, oh, balance. Good, good, good. Nice. Gloss of stigma, lovely, yeah. lovely. That will work nicely all over there. More balance. Oh, loose of balance. Loads of boosts. Boosts have arm. There's another row underneath. Yeah, Are these all for us or are they for the shop? <laughs> these all for this skate. Jiminy right, cricket, yeah. aqua fleur kicking something. <laughs> Ricardas. No mobilia, nice. Lift it, Matt, there's more. Bulbatis, nice. Anubius, nice. There's another, um, there's no way we can, I mean, I'm always, Ooh. I'm always for put everything in, but there's no way we can put this many plants in. We can. Yeah, we can, yeah, let's, we can. let's do it. <laughs> See, now this is all of the Java fern done for the time being. Uh, maybe. <laughs> if we can find some more, I'm going to put it in. But we've got tons of Anubius prepped as well. Look, look at all this Anubius. Now, what I always find works quite well is if you keep Anubius lower, so more in the rock structure, uh, sort of underneath the Java ferns. Mix them a bit, but like if you, if you do that, it tends to look a bit more, I was going to say real, but... <laughs> glass box at the end of the day, isn't it, Matt? Um, yeah, so we'll just keep going. We'll just keep going. So much more to do. Look, we've barely even touched the plants yet. Oh, yeah, my. Scratch the surface. Goodness. Right, we have done uh, all of the Anubius now, as well as the Java ferns. Looking good, left a nice gap in the middle as well. So, so like some of the plants will go in the back section, but it's good to have a negative space in any tank. Uh, we're gonna now plant, where well, you got them at? Uh, Balance. Crypt Balance, yeah. loads of it. <laughs> We've also got Rotala Rotundifolia? Walichi. Walichi, oh, okay. Yeah, I think. Uh, they're, all, they're all welcome. <laughs> You're not really gonna see it though for, for a little bit, but eventually the Balance is gonna come all the way up and then just swoop all the way across, just look fantastic. So, so you can see here from the side, look, clip, crypt, crypt balance, which is going to be so tall and just sort of creeping over, but it's just a little baby at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and then again, the same on this side. There's even more on this side because that's like a bigger island, if you like. And also, that's where the f that the flow will be coming from there, won't it? Yeah, yeah. Of course it will. There's a Outlets. There's some outlets there. Yeah. That's exactly where the But, but what I mean from. is, are they going to be coming down like that, or do you, can you angle them? No, we can them? move them. Okay. Well, so I then, hope so anyway. Eventually, that when, might be an issue. when we haven't been here for a long time, um, it will be growing up and just sweeping across. But for the time being, you know, it's just going to be a different sort of look. Right, carry on with the planting. We think we're planted. We're going to we're going to fill it up now. Not, it's going to take ages anyway, so it's not like like it's a rush or nothing. But we've got botanicals still to go in in the front, but they need to be like like boiled, like boiled. <laughs> which will take a while and all that so um dave store manager um he's gonna now see oh. there's the inlets we're gonna do it nice and slowly to start with because we don't know how it's gonna come out of there he's got to get underneath the system. oh is he he's got yeah. a crawl in behind oh this will be fun <laughs> you'll do it matt won't you you'll no, do I'm it old and decrepit and mm, yeah <laughs> <laughs> no i've got an injury oh, oh yeah biking So it's now the next day. The tank's cleared up pretty nicely. It's still a little bit, tiniest bit of a haze, but that's only when you look down from the side. Straight on, it's pretty clear, isn't it? It's all right, isn't it? It's looking right. good. It's looking good. I can't believe you started without me. <laughs> I was filming with the camera for ages. 
Yeah, anyway, so it's, it's fish time, but first I want to put in some botanicals that we prepared down here. A few leaves, I don't want to go crazy with it. Um, just detail, just isn't it? Just a few yeah. little bits of detail, because you can do too much, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, it's dependent on the tank, isn't it? If you have a massive layer of it, it does look good, but certain tanks need that. Yeah. You need to, yeah, it's this not, is just the that. twilight. Almost like the leaves of the Anubias have fallen off and they're just sort of sat Scattering. in amongst it. Yeah, yeah we'll do definitely. that. Yeah, so yesterday, down here in the bucket, look, we put some hot water and a rock to weigh them down, and we've got some nice little leaves, so um, yeah, pick them up, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> it was very bossy of me, wasn't it? Well, very bossy of you. <laughs> Rude. No, no, pick, pick them up. The comment section won't be good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone will be on at me. Don't be horrible to Matt. Oh, that's actually, yeah, that looks sweet. It literally looks like they've fallen in there. A few more, definitely more than now, yeah. I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I really like that, actually. It's adding another element to it. Yeah. I think sometimes it just finishes the tank off, doesn't it? A bit like scatter gravel, scatter botanicals. Yeah. It's not for everyone. No. Not everyone likes them and they think, oh, it looks like something's died and just hanging around in the water. Yeah. I think for people like me and you, though, who are, we want that a little bit of extra realism. I think that's good. So I think those few that we've got there, we haven't gone crazy. I think that looks really good. A little subtle hint to it. But we've also got these over here we've just been preparing. What are they called again, Matt? Uh, so you've got lotus pods. Yep. Which are the scary looking things in the front that look like they're at Stranger Things. Um, <laughs> and then you've got Thalumbo pods. Okay. So yeah, they're cool. And what we've done is glue a rock to each one because otherwise it would never stay down for like a long time. So these should sink right to the bottom and yeah. Is that enough or we want more? I think we'll try, we'll try the four. Four, okay. Yeah, I've got more. Okay. I've got another one here. Matt's got the pods here, we're just gonna put them down. We want them, we want them in the front, obviously, so. Look at that, it was does this weird silvery bubble thing. Oh no. Oh. 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 It's rock. even with the rock. Even with the rock. If you smell. <laughs> even with Dwayne glue to it. Look at that, that's unreal. So buoyant. Well, it looks like that won't be uh, happening today. I like it there. Yep, perfect. Job done. <laughs> Crikey. Okay. We'll go okay, we'll try one. again. We'll, we'll try... try this one. They should sink. Are they? Are they? Nope. Oh, because you I have to hoping, squeeze them, don't you? I was hoping we wouldn't have to boil these, but we might have to boil these. Right, this section's not going in. <laughs> no, we're going to have to boil them. Yeah, they're full um, of air pockets, aren't they? Dave, you can work on that when we're gone. But, but I don't think that's happening for the video. No? Do you want to boil them quickly? Do you reckon that work? Yeah. Okay, let's boil them quickly and then they'll go, yeah. So the other botanicals are just boiling up. But in the meantime, Matt, should we just go, should we go fish shopping? Have a mooch. Yeah. <laughs> so initially, we were going to be going for more sort of Asian fish. Uh, and Dave ordered in, like, how many is it, Matt? Uh, it's like 500 there. Like 500 harlequin spores for us. We're still going to use them, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking we go with every pick, like full community, epic community. Yeah, yeah I agree. Sure. I think there's some gorgeous like community fish here. Yeah. So I think it would be a shame not to include them all. And I'm just looking. Yeah, I'm looking. Sorry, I'm not even talking to you. I'm looking. <laughs> He's I'm got just distracted distracted. by the sweet shot. <laughs> um, I think I think we need we definitely need neons. So the tank is like right at the end just when you come in. And you get a lot of new people coming in, and what do new fish keepers love? Neons. You've got to have a load of neons in there. Yeah, every, ta every tank should have them. Should we start with them? Start with neons? Yeah, okay, I let's think do that. So. Let's do What's that, Matt? What have you spied? Uh, just some empire gudgeon. They wouldn't Ooh. be really for the scape, but they, no? would, yeah, they would work. Well, they're just a beautiful fish. Oh, they're really, really, really nice, cool. aren't they? Yeah, stunning. Oh, wow. So is that male and females, I'm guessing? Yeah, yeah, so the male's that colourful one that's obviously showing off <laughs> yeah. and hammering around the tank. They're yeah, awesome. Yeah, they get quite chunky when they're older, like 10, 12 centimetres, so yeah, really big. So, and then round here, look, is where all of the different sort of tetras are. Um, so, what's, uh, cardinals, we've got down the bottom there. We've got, oh, brilliant rummy nose, they're like rummy nose, but they've got this cool, like, shiny top to them. Yeah, so they've got like a silvery iridescence to them, they're yeah. really nice. A little that, bit different. That could be an option, just a little group. Then we could basically just pick out 10 of everything. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, like but, but a couple of big balls, like down here, oh, the gold. The gold tetra, a ball of gold tetra would be awesome. Yeah. And the, and the better. Yeah. 
But yeah, loads of neons in, they're a classic, so let's get those in first. So Dave's got two tanks worth of neons, so we just said all of that tank back there. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> it be a cool little release. Yeah. Big release. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew has the fish, there's about 200 neons there, which sounds a lot, but in a big six foot tank, I mean it's probably not even going to touch the sides. And linked to the system as well. And it's linked to the system, so all the temperatures are already matching and all that sort of thing, so we can go straight in. Where do you want me to? I'll just, just re yeah, we're not doing like thumbnail release for this, no? I'll just get that later. I just want to see, just want to see them all. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hit it. Okay, yeah, that, no, that is a lot. <laughs> that is cool. That's the right size. Just the right size. Yeah, they look great. Wicked. Wow. Yes, that was definitely a good decision. Look at them. Look at them moving. Whoa. Oh, yeah. We just need a nice big predator in them. <laughs> That's it, you do. You need something to ball them Pred together. Predator enough that it won't hurt them, yeah. but they are That's fearful. That's why we're thinking there's a few bigger fish, isn't there? Look at that. Look at that down there. There's yeah, what's the bigger ones, Matt? What do you think? Are we allowed to say that or are you waiting for the reveal? Let's wait for no. the reveal. <laughs> okay, the next fish. This is the best bit, isn't it? More, more. More fish. I think golds. Golds. Gold, gold tetras tetra. next. Dave yeah. likes the idea yeah. of gold 200. Tetra. Yeah, 200. <laughs> okay, up next we have got about 50. About yeah, 50 gold 50. tetra. They're going to pop nicely in this tank as well. They'll be a little bit smaller as well, so I reckon they'll go in amongst the plants a little bit more. Okay. Look. Oh, wicked. <laughs> it's just so fun watching them go in, isn't it? They're great, aren't they? That's wicked. Oh, I, need to, I need to adjust because uh, everything looks the same at the moment. I think it's just because there's so many. But look, they're joining the group. <laughs> so we're up to 250 so far. That looks wicked. Look, look at the way they're moving in their own sort of groups, like, like birds. You know, when they do that thing in the sky, then one moves and the rest follow yeah, them. Yeah. And, yeah. Starlings, is it? Yeah, starlings, yeah. They follow each other and they'll make great shapes. What are you thinking next? Some of the harlequins now, then? I think we could do the harlequins, yeah. And there's a few other tetras, I think. You know, yeah. some of the bigger broad body, because these are all very um, slim, slim line, yeah, sort of yeah, tetra. Yeah. So I think something with a bit of a deeper body to them, you know, x-rays, phantoms, I don't yeah. know, something along those lines. Definitely. Lemons. 100%. Yeah. Okay. So a different body shape. Okay, up next, we have got 200? <laughs> yeah. We've got 200. Sorry, thinking harlequins. <laughs> 200 uh, Rosporas. Res yeah. um, are they just the standard Harlequins? They are standard Harlequins. Standard Harlequins, yeah. okay. They are good. Nothing wrong with that though. No, Nothing no, wrong no, with that. We like a standard It'd be interested Harlequin. to see how they behave around the Tetras because they wouldn't normally meet, would they? No. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> They're more top dwelling, aren't they? Uh, a little bit. But they should once they settle. That looks awesome. Look at that. No, no, I've got to stop the stupid noises. No, they're not neons. No, but uh, they're not neon, <laughs> neon. I don't know, just like race cars to me, they always do. <laughs> right, we've got to keep it. Whoa, whoa, look at the group. Look at the group, stay still. I like that you get the little, the little gold tetra in amongst the group. Yeah, who, thinks, the odd one. who thinks he's a neon? Yeah, that's cool. I like that a lot. Sweet. Oh, look, I'm coming back at the top now. That looks so good. Yeah, maybe we do need more harlequins because they're like. They're acting cool. It's quite cool, the fish sort of, they're already doing like behavioural things that are interesting. Been in less than half an hour. They do this little loop around that stick at the back and then follow the flow. And then they, yeah, so cool. Look at these lot, the way they're all moving. That's so good. Where's the harlequins? But I'm looking through the camera, so it's hard to see where everything is. Harlequins are up there chilling. But look at this, look at the textures coming back now. Whoa, that's so cool. Is this even better in person? Um, so, if you guys live near here, where are we again? Wimborne. Wimborne. Wim Wimborne. Wimborne. Like Jason Bourne. Oh, yeah. But Wimborne. If you live near here, come down here, take a look at this in person, and buy loads of fish. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I'm thinking one yeah. more little group of something, yes. and then we'll move on to. Well, we need cleanup crews. We do. Yeah, we need some. Yeah, some little loaches and bits and pieces. I'll and tell you what. If we do our feature fish yeah in there and then we could do the cleanup crew and i think that's enough isn't it because otherwise it's going to be more fish than water yeah 
So this is going to be one of those tanks that you can just stand in front and just watch everything buzz yeah. around. Just swoop about. Quite calm. I'm loving it. This is making Matt want to change our, the eight foot at Taunton yeah. to a massive, like, tetra and everything. I want to change the Stingray tank into this. How great <laughs> would that be? Just massive plants coming That'd out of it. That would be insane. And like 5,000 cardinal tetras. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good number. That is a good number. Solid number, 5,000. <laughs> Yeah, Matt's turned into a diva. Like he's like, he's like proper like. Dave likes tidying up. Okay, give me the stool. Right. So what we've got here is is ten. Is that fifteen? Fifteen. So, yeah, because there was a group of bigger ones or slightly bigger ones. So we got the five bigger ones. They don't know what they are. And it's ten pearl ones. Oh, yeah. So the idea of them being the future fish, and they are gonna they're not gonna cause a problem to the to the fish that are in there, but they will cause them to think they're predators and and like ball up a bit more. Yeah. Because um, eventually they're just gonna dispersed everywhere but this will keep them tight it's a good amount of pearl army so we've got some larger ones and some smaller ones haven't yeah we? they look gorgeous and there's males and females in there that i can already see so oh, brilliant Yay. look at that awesome there's your bigger there's your focus there's your focal sort nice. of fish awesome look at that that's a good number as well look at the neon yeah and the neons <laughs> are straight away we've gone over to this side and they're doing their loop-de-loop -loop again the harlequins are in this corner again. It's weird, isn't it, how they've decided that, that they found their own little areas that they like. They'll shift up. No, you, that's the thing. You can't make them perform when they don't want to. you just got to be patient. <laughs> Why this corner, guys? Is there, oh, look, look at this. There's don't a few work back with, there. Don't work with fish and children, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's Ooh. awesome. Now we need a clean-up crew. So we've, we've got, like, panda gars with different loaches. Um, we're just going to do a little mix of all of them, aren't we? Just I think so, interesting. Yeah. Little groups of them just to add some interest in the bottom and yeah. they'll scurry around in the rock work and the leaf litter. We don't need a lot. There's definitely enough fish in here now. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so good. Right, so Matt's got a good little group there. Yeah, we've got some zipper loaches, which yeah. are cool. We've got some panda garras, which are also very cool. And then we've got some bristle noses to help us with the algae. Sweet. Well, How many? About 25 fish? Yeah, there's about 25 fish in there. So That's yeah. a just good amount for that, I reckon. I they might need a few more bristle noses later on to help yeah. with maintenance. but. And also a mano shrimps maybe later on if there's you know some bits and pieces yeah. you want to pick up on but you know it's up to personal choice eventually okay let's hit it with the uh with the cleanup crew they're all probably going to go right to the bottom aren't they you'd expect so wouldn't you oh they're fast they are fast oh my goodness <laughs> that's some pace okay brilliant brilliant nice i just realized we've just filmed all of this with the main lights on up there um we'll do final shots in a minute in the dark yeah that'll look good <laughs> Yeah, I might change the camera up a bit, but we'll see. Right, so that's everything. That's all the fish. This is that's a good. Display. Are you happy? Are you happy with that, Dave? As a Very display? Happy. Yeah. It's awesome. only going to get better. Trust me as well, because obviously, um, mm. when we've done this before with Matt, he had some really tall stems anyway. It would already fill out the back, and I could bring some from from my studio. But obviously, we've got to wait Be for fair, the background is, to come up. This is a bit like the eight foot African tank because um, we only had the short ballast, didn't we? Oh yeah. And even like now that's all grown in and massive. I forget what it looked like on day one when the ballast was not even poking above any of the woodwork. That's true, that's true. This 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 is gonna grow in. Within the next month to month and a half, it should look pretty immense, especially with those background. Let's come around so everyone can see, but it's already standing up right. We've got the Rotala Willichi and we've got the Crips in there. They're gonna just ah, it's gonna be so good. Happy? I'm happy with it. That's amazing. I wasn't overwhelmed this morning with no fish, but now we've got the fish in here. It looks so cool. I like the structure of the wood. The wood looks great, poking yeah. up into the water. Yeah. It's just some real big structure. 